Welcome back to Jesse at Home. I have a super satisfying video for you today. If you need some motivation, this is definitely the video. If you love befores and afters, this is definitely the video. I just wanted to tackle some of my outside areas. We love spending time in this backyard. So I wanted to start in the outdoor kitchen and get that cleaned up so we can really start grilling out here and just really utilizing this space a lot more. It is an outdoor space. It is open to the elements. So obviously this is going to be need, you know, needed to clean often because it's going to be very easy for this to kind of get bugs and spiders and dirt and all the things. So I just wanted to give it a little bit of a fresh start before we started remodeling as well. We do have some things to prepare in this little area. Um, like those little pop-up windows need to be rebuilt and I do want to pick a lighter and brighter stain. There's so many stain options other than this like sort of red brown that we have going on here. Um, but first things first is some serious deep cleaning. We need to get it cleaned so that we can start doing all the fun things like remodeling and redecorating. I've been dreaming all night Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days Never meant to fall so hard This ceiling fan is definitely going to be super helpful when we are grilling out here to kind of keep the flies away because that is always a problem when you know you have food outside so I'm super grateful that we have the ceiling fan but I definitely wanted to clean it up before I started using um, that grill out there. It also has a rotisserie option, which I'm super excited to try. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited about all the possibilities with this little outdoor kitchen um, to make it our own and just put our like special touch on it. Um, I was looking on Etsy for some like custom made signs and I'm going to put some string lights up here and just make it a really, really fun space for when we're outside using the pool. Um, and speaking of the pool, we are getting that redone and I will be showing you guys that whole process. Um, it just takes time, especially since like everybody is going crazy and deciding to either build their pool or remodel their pool this summer because a lot of us are staying home versus going on vacation this year. So it's just taken a little bit longer to get things done than we or originally thought. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna just get everything, all the spaces around the pool area clean and ready for us to enjoy. Making moves, trying to get away from this life I'm living. Same old things every day, wanna change this feeling. Wasting no more time, don't care about what you're saying. Keep me down, no time for all your playing Yeah, it 
those memories, time to make some new ones. Sun is up, I'm wide awake. We're not getting younger. I was trying to work my way from top to bottom, obviously doing dusting the ceiling and then the ceiling fan, and then I realized that I probably should just go ahead and sweep up all this dirt um, before getting the counters, uh, the bar counters wet out here. That way I could get rid of as much dry dirt as possible. So I'm kind of like running around. I'm trying to figure out the best way, obviously, to get this clean in here. Um, I am going to be breaking out the power washer as well and trying to just make this whole space um, inviting and fun out here. We have a lot of outdoor furniture to buy. We came from a house um, where we barely could fit a little um, dining set on the deck and now we have like the deck, the fire pit, um, the this little outdoor kitchen area which we can fit a little table. We need some bar stools and we need, we just need a ton of outdoor furniture but one thing at a time, I might even wait until like clearance at the end of summer to really buy the bulk of the furniture and we might just have to get away with using like um, beach chairs and just those foldable chairs and things like that because outdoor furniture is expensive. What is it about a bubbly, clean, freshly scrubbed countertop that is so satisfying? Um, I am leaning more towards a beachy oasis tropical vibe for my outdoor de decorating. I know it's very not me, um, but with this beautiful tile and then obviously the pool, and just the way things are leaning, I'm thinking more tropical plants like tiki bar type thing out here just to have fun with it. I mean, you know, I'm very like neutrals and farmhouse inside, but I just really want to have fun with my outside decor. I like a little bit of whimsy and just a little bit of fun. So I'm very curious how it's all going to turn out. Um, I might just go crazy and just buy a whole bunch of random stuff, but um, I don't know. It, you gotta have fun sometimes, and outside, I would just love. Obviously, I want it to be a beautiful space, but I also want to have a lot of fun. Be
My main focus with the power washing was just to kind of push all that dirt back and get it off the concrete. We do need to do a deeper clean in here with probably some concrete cleaner to really get in because um, this is like a almost like a stamped concrete. It's a very natural. It has a lot of divots and colors and it is really beautiful but it kind of cling the dirt kind of clings to it so this is just sort of a preliminary let's get this dirt somewhere If you haven't been following me on Instagram, definitely follow me on Instagram because you have already seen this pond over there. And uh, today was the day that we decided to go ahead and drain the pond and we thought it would be super easy. Just drain it, no big deal. This was such a big job. It was such a big job. There was so much of that um, silt or sludge or slime or whatever algae just, just broken down leaves and gunk underneath all of that and this was such a big dirty job but I am so proud of us we got it done um, basically just the cleanup was backbreaking work um, and as you'll see that we still have a long way to go when we finally drain it but I just wanted to share with you guys the process we started off with just a submergible pump to pump out as much as possible but there was still a lot that we needed to do um, by hand so the pump was helpful but honestly we did most of the work ourselves I of course had to show you how cute Camille was rolling around in the dirt as usual. She is my outdoor kitty. She loves spending time outside and she is loving all the areas to explore in this new house. And I just wanted to show you a quick redo while I was waiting for the pond to drain. I took my little welcome sign and just threw some black spray paint on it just so that it would stand out a little bit more. It was a little bit faded. I actually found that at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And that little flag, um, patriotic flag, I got from Lowe's this year. And that pump was a beast. It drained all of that in one night. But then we had to deal with all the sludge. So we decided to see if that would dry out and we could scoop it out um, the next day. So it did dry out a little bit, but um, not as much as we hoped. And we went around and just picked up all the rocks. We are going to be reusing the rocks, some in the pond and then some just around the house. But we just got in there and got dirty and picked up all the rocks by hand.
we thought it would be easy to kind of just scrape and shovel all the sludge up but there was little rocks glued around to the floor of the pond that we couldn't see so we could never get a really good full scoop so we did the best we could but then I had another idea I had kept telling my husband, let's just get in there with the power washer and sort of loosen up all the sludge and like emulsify a little bit, make it more liquidy. That way it would be easier to just kind of either pump out or scoop out. And he thought I was crazy, but my idea worked. It was a little bit of, um, a little counter counterintuitive because the power washer just sprayed the sludge everywhere. But once we really broke it up and really made it more liquid, it was a lot easier to deal with. So we did all this before we went on the boat and we let it kind of liquefy a little bit more and let the pump do its thing. And then when we got from back from the boat, I said, let's just hand bail all this water out. So my husband just pushed all the water towards me and then I filled up, I think seven of those five gallon buckets, just like I was doing by hand. Um, but we eventually got it all emptied out. I am so excited about it because now we can um, caulk and fix all the cracks we can um, do a really good scrub down and we can start from scratch and hopefully have a nice clean maintained um, water feature this was just basically a mosquito farm prior and now we're gonna make it an actual pretty pond with some plants and hopefully eventually some fish so I'm super excited about it we found this little guy in another area another outdoor feature that we decided to incorporate into this pond so um, if you guys are interested in a pond remodel let me know and I will definitely um, add that into a future video as well and then we moved on to the back deck we have a lot of work to do back here but we're just starting with a little satisfying power wash on the awning Yeah. 
So this was very annoying to me. There was stain and blue tape all over the bottom of where the deck met the house. And I had tried to peel it off before. I had tried gook on, I had tried a ton of things to get this to come off. It had been there at least for a year. I know that because of the listing photos, the house had been on the market for um, the year prior to this last year, last summer. and nothing nothing had worked so I found this goof off this this graffiti remover it's very like potent and powerful so like definitely use it in a well ventilated area I use gloves this was a very 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 tedious job to do but to me it was a hundred percent worth it because every time I went to go inside the house and I saw like this blue tape and stain all over the vinyl siding and all over both of the sliding glass doors it just really irritated me um, to no end so I'm super happy that I finally managed to um, just work it off and eventually uh, I'm going to repaint this little sliding door area it's just gonna look so good and so brand new and um, I'm just really excited about getting this area ready for entertaining as well about y'all but that was super satisfying to watch as that just came clean um oh it just looks so much better even like as it was stained but I decided just to go get um some spray paint and just brighten it up so that you didn't even know it was there and honestly I don't know why I was worried about like saving the deck boards because we're going to be replacing those in the next upcoming weeks we're going to be totally ripping out all, the entire deck um like the top of the deck boards and redoing them with brand new beautiful not warped not painted deck boards and i cannot wait because these bad boys have like carpenter um bee damage and um 
just they're old and warped and I just really want a nice space to hang out with my family and eat dinner back here and just chill so you know I had to get I wanted to do this prior to ripping up the deck boards that way if a little overspray it's not a big deal but it just looks so good and I'm so happy that I decided to put the work in and do it because honestly it only took a day to do this sliding door, the next sliding door, and then also um, the siding. So I spared you guys from showing me do each door. I just wanted to show you the process of doing one door, but they both got done and the siding got done and I'm just super happy with the whole look. As you can sh see, I'm showing you just like how bad the deck is. From afar, it doesn't look that bad, but it is very squeaky and some boards are kind of giving way. And then as you can see, these are massive trip hazards right here. So we're going to just pull them all up and put down new wooden boards. Um, we thought about doing the treks, but right now it's not in the budget. So we're just gonna go with some good old wooden stained boards and I cannot wait. I just want to thank you so much for choosing my video to get you motivated today. Hopefully you enjoyed all of the satisfying befores and afters. I certainly did. Um, if you guys want to check out some inside cleaning motivation, I have a ton of videos on my channel and I have a new inside all day whole house cleaning motivation video for you coming up on Thursday. So definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. Oh,